Hi, I'm Bob. Let's finish the remaining two computer exercises for Chapter A today. For Exercise Thirteen, the estimated equation by OLS is as follows. I report the usual standard errors in parentheses and the heteroscedasticity robust standard errors in brackets. The robust standard errors for electric and urban are smaller than the non-robust ones. In the regression with usual standard errors, the F statistic for the joint significance is 2.20 and its p-value is 0.0864. In the regression with robust standard errors, the F statistic is 2.16 and its p-value is 0.09. Using both standard errors, we could not reject the null hypothesis that the three dummy variables are jointly insignificant at the 5% level against a two-sided alternative. We use data's test command to do the F-test. We do the special Y-test in Park Street. After we obtain the residuals and the fitted values from the OLS model, we generate the squared residuals and the squared fitted values. Then we regress the squared residuals on the fitted values and the squared fitted values. The F statistic for the overall significance is 726. It is large enough to reject the null hypothesis of homoscedasticity. In other words, heteroscedasticity is present in the equation for children. For the last question, we have seen that in the ORS regressions, using the usual standard errors or the robust standard errors gives similar t-statistics and does not change the variable significance. But on the other hand, when we try to estimate the model by the feasible GLS, we find some noticeable changes in the coefficients. The electricity effect drops substantially and it becomes less statistically significant. The urban area effect also reduces a lot. But the education effect remains similar. It is better to show both results. Here are the stata commands for computer exercise 13. Let's find answers to exercise 14. The estimated equation of the OLS regression with the robust standard errors is as follows. The VCE option in stata specifies the robust estimator of variance. The result does not surprise me. Below average looking negatively affects wages. Above average looking does not have a significant effect on earnings. Experience has a positive but diminishing effect on wages. 
females earn less than males. On average, women earn 45.3 percent less than men, holding other factors fixed. A more accurate estimate is 36.4 percent less. The difference is statistically significant at the one percent level. The coefficient on female is practically large and statistically significant. In part two, we add the interaction terms between the variable female and all the other explanatory variables to the model. The F statistic for the joint significance of the five interaction terms is 4.13. Its p-value is 0.001. When we apply the robust standard errors, the F statistic becomes 8.54, and its p-value is zero to three decimal places. We reject the null hypothesis that the coefficients on the interaction terms are all zero in both cases at the one percent level. In other words, the relationship between wage and the explanatory variables differs between men and women. In part three, we test for the joint significance of the interactions involving the looks variables. The F statistic is 1.45, and its p-value is 0.236. They are jointly insignificant at any conventional level. We fail to reject the null hypothesis that the coefficients on the two interaction terms are zero. Here are the stator commands for exercise 14. Thank you for completing the computer exercises with me. See you in the next chapter. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.